Hey, so what's up guys? It's Dan from Crypto Camacho. Hey guys, I today I, I have an interesting video, I think, for you guys. It's interesting to me to just see the news and what's going on in the cryptocurrency and blockchain world. And right now, I was on Crypto Panic and I was looking at the news in, in the space, right, to see what's going on in the markets. And I come across an article that says France's yellow vest bank run. Could it be bullish for Bitcoin? Uh, so apparently the yellow vests in France are calling on their supporters to withdraw all of their money from the banks. Yellow vests, we welcome you with open arms. And there's all these different articles about uh, what's happening in France and that there's going to be an attempt or an organized effort to, to make a run on the banks and have all the people in France withdraw their money at the same time from the banks to cause a collapse or an economic hardship in France to prove their point, right? If you haven't been following the news at all, you need to check out what's going on in France, right? France is being, it's melting down right now. It's in complete chaos, complete um, disorder. There's riots in the street everywhere. I mean, just go on Twitter, look what's happening. There's a bit by Bitcoin. Um, if you watch any of these videos going on, um, you'll see that there's mass riots going on in the street. They're burning things, they're looting. Um, the, the yellow vest, I mean, here's more, right? This is happening every day and it's getting more and more and more intense and you could follow it on social media. Today, I came across this article that there's going to be a run on the bank and it could be bullish for Bitcoin, right? I start searching on Google, French run on the bank, and I come up with all these different articles that there's going to be an organized effort to make a run on the banks in France, right? And so could this be a, a, um, a tipping point, right? Could this be a tipping point where economies start to falter, start to collapse, start to, you know, it's happened in the past, right, with Greece, faltering with spain faltering this is not new with argentina not not that many years ago faltering uh on their currency and is the eurozone going to collapse that's kind of been debated for some time now and it's been evaluated uh, for some time now across right different spaces uh, but this is really interesting what's going on here but then one other thing is a lot of these are, are uh, actually cryptocurrency news outlets news btc ethereum world news daily crusader um, YouTube, French property, and Reuters. So then you you kind of bank runs and Frexit. So this was 2017, so that's old, right? So any recent news about this, I'm finding only on the cryptocurrency um, uh, outlets, right? On the cryptocurrency media channels. If I go to the next page here, um, I, I still need to confirm that this is a legitimate story, right? Banking news, breaking news. This is on Reddit. Yellow, pro, uh, yellow vest protesters begin to coordinate a bank run. Um, that's on Reddit, right? So did this news story start on Reddit? Did it start in the cryptocurrency space? Look again, crypto panic, French reality of S, but it's only on the cryptocurrency news sites, right? Which is crazy. You go over to the news tab on Google and you look, news BTC, another uh, cryptocurrency news outlet. But then you don't see any news about a run on the bank in France on any other news outlet, right? And so it's yet to be seen if this is true or if this is just kind of, you know, fear uh, or fear of missing out uh, <laughs> being spread around the cryptocurrency sphere. Nonetheless, I think it's something to watch. Um, I think it's actually interesting to watch what's going on in France, what's going on in the world, what's going on with economies and whatnot in general. Um, but keep an eye on this, guys. This is another interesting thing, guys. Um, one other interesting thing here I saw. Russia will buy 10 billion in Bitcoin, ditch the US dollar and become a huge crypto whale, right? What's that news story about, okay? So if you open that up, uh, let's see here. Let me close a few tabs here. Um, Russia will buy 10 billion in Bitcoin, ditch US dollar and become a huge crypto whale, right? And there's another article, Russia plans to ditch the US dollar, Bitcoin says university professor. So there's this university professor from Russia that's saying that because of U.S. sanctions, that the Russian government is preparing to actually divest in the U.S. dollar and start investing heavily into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now, they have done this a little bit in the past, not heavily like they're talking about here. Um, but this is, again, <coughs> something that I don't know if it's a rumor, if it's confirmed or not, but something to wor something worth taking note of and at least watching, right? Um, and, and I think, you know, I've been thinking about this and I've been watching this for some time because of cryptocurrency, because of blockchain, it is possible for governments, other governments to subvert the, the world reserve currency or the United States dollar using Bitcoin or using other cryptocurrencies. Right now, it would be difficult for them to do that because it's not liquid enough for them to do that at such high volumes. We're talking trillions of dollars, guys. Um, so it's really difficult at the moment for them to do that. 
as cryptocurrencies develop, as they improve, as they begin to scale, like Bitcoin, SV, and others, right? As they begin to scale, um, <coughs> excuse me, as they begin to scale, it, it will be possible for countries to avoid sanctions. And they're already actually doing it now. It's just not that efficient quite yet, but it is becoming more and more efficient. And I would watch this space because you will start to see countries start subverting sanctions by using their own economic systems, right? Through cryptocurrencies, right? Um, and through blockchain, uh, different blockchain projects, right? So this is really, <coughs> excuse me, this is a very, very interesting report. Um, a new report from Forbes highlights the impact of U.S. sanctions are having on Russia and it's isolating them. And U.S. sanctions may be mitigated only through Bitcoin use. Because of U.S. sanctions, Russia's elite is forced to dump U.S. assets and U.S. dollars and invest hugely into Bitcoins. The Central Bank of Russia sits on $466 billion of reserves and then has to diversify in case there is a limited opportunities to do it. So they're trying to diversify against the dollar. The dollar is the world reserve currency, so everything is pegged to the dollar. Um, so anyway... Uh, two, two news stories that I think are interesting, yet to be confirmed. Um, like I said, I have not confirmed these. I don't think they've been confirmed um, in general, but uh, something to keep an eye on, guys. I'm Dan from Crypto Camacho. Let me know what you think. Is there going to be a bank run in France? Is there going to be a run on the banks? I don't know. Is this something that's legitimately going to happen as being organized, or is this just you know FOMO spreading around the cryptocurrency sphere to try and start a bull run? I don't know. And is Russia going to get off of the dollar finally? Is China, are these other countries that are dependent on the dollar right now, are they going to um, divest and diversify? It sounds like yes. Let's see what happens, guys. See ya.